Yo, what's going on everybody? This is your video on constructors in C Sharp. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. So the whole idea behind a constructor is it's a special method that is invoked when we instantiate a class. So you've probably seen it, such as here. User. This is a method and it's prefixed with the new keyword. That is the key thing to know with constructors is we call them by saying new constructor, <laughs> whatever the constructor name is. Now this constructor name needs to match the class name. So inside of our class, we define this constructor. And another thing is it has no return or return type. So it's gonna look like this. Public user, notice it matches the class name. Then we can have the parentheses and the curly braces and we treat it just like any other method. Now this is what's known as the default constructor. By that, I mean it takes no parameters. And also if you don't define that in your code, if you didn't put this right here, it's going to be done implicitly. So we can always instantiate a class as long as the class is available to us. But we can create custom constructors which allow us to pass in information to basically make sure the object is in a good initialized state. So for example, we might require people to pass in their first name and last name. We'll just go with first name for now. You might pass it in like so. Just passing in a string, Caleb. Well, inside of this constructor, we can take that as a parameter. We'll just call it string x and we can assign that to a property by saying first name or whatever it's called and assigning it the value x. So that is how we will get initial values for an object. And we'll go into hands-on exercises with this. This is a conceptual level. I just want you to understand the purpose of constructors. Now there's one gotcha with constructors you need to know. And that is if you create a custom constructor where you require arguments to be passed in, the implicit default constructor is no longer going to get created for you. So that one with no parameters, we're going to have to manually type that out and explicitly put it in our code in order to create a user without passing in a first name. Why is this? It's a little weird and I think the reason is because in certain situations we might require certain things to be passed in in order for an object to be in a complete state. And in that situation, if we can't get rid of that implicit constructor, there's no way for us to guarantee that that happens. But if we create a custom constructor that requires those things and we do not create that default constructor, then it's required because you will not be able to just do new user like so. This will give you a compiling error because this user constructor is not going to exist. So that's your introduction. Again, constructors are just methods with no return that allow you to instantiate. And my camera just stopped recording, but I still got audio. So to conclude, constructors just allow you to instantiate a class into an object. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next video.